Hello, this is Brett with Anvil Music and Media. I'm back again with some 101 tips for all of you producers, you video editors, for all of you who may just be getting started into music production or video editing. You're gonna need one key component, that's a computer. Yes, you will need a computer to be able to perform your task. So I myself ventured out into investing into a computer. It can be a little bit intimidating um, to say the least. So if you're looking today for a solid computer, I would definitely recommend a either an iMac. Um, they also have Mac Minis um, as well as a MacBook Pro. These are all very versatile computers. If you think about it, in the heat of creativity, you want to be able to have the most efficient computer that you can rely on. So let's talk about it. Apples are expensive. Um, any brand new Apple computer will range anywhere between um, $1,500 to upwards of you know, $5,000. Um, but my recommendation is, you know, um, just like any good used car that you would purchase off of the car lot, Apples are the same way. You can literally buy a used Apple computer, um, three to four years old, maybe even five years old, that will still give you the same performance as a brand new Apple computer. If you're starting out, just a 2015 MacBook Pro. I mean, that will range you anywhere between four to maybe $700. I would also say if you are working with music production, music files, you're working with video editing, you definitely wanna have a hard drive. I would say no less than 500 gigabytes because those music files and video files, they add up relatively um, fast. Um, processor, this is an important one. This is your computer processing speed. You wanna really kind of range in anywhere in between 2.8, 2.7 to 3.1. Um, if you could get you a dual core um, system, that would also be uh, perfect for your editing needs. These are all things that you really need to consider before purchasing your first um, MacBook Pro or iMac. Another function of your computer, your Apple computer, is random access memory. This allows your computer to uh, perform multiple tasks at the same time. Say, for example, you're in your editing program, such as Adobe, um, and you're also able to get on the internet simultaneously. And it doesn't lag, um, put a big lag on your computer system. So the more random access memory you have, um, the greater chance of you being able to work simultaneously with, with ease. If you're heavy into production, heavy into video editing, you definitely wanna make sure that that random access memory um, when you go to purchase your computer is at least about 16 gigs. We use about 32 here. Um, both of my computers are 32 and 42 gigabytes. Lastly, you might not need to start out with all the bells and whistles. Um, everyone's needs are different. Some may need uh, just the basic model. Like I said, if you're, you're working on like basic videos, um, if you're surfing the internet, you're not necessarily gonna need the souped up RAM or souped up um, CPU speed, but it all just depends on um, what exactly you need. Let's take a look at some of your options. So I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna type in eBay. Let's search for 2015 Mac Pro. All right, so literally the first listing we get to, it's like a buy it now for 424. Um, now, mind you, make sure that you are researching, doing your research. I've, I've been researching for years, so I kind of have a sense of what what to look for. Um, let's just click on this one. Okay, you notice it says the year 2012, 2015. No, I'm, I'm going to go back. Let's go here. Okay. This looks pretty good. Like this is a 2015 MacBook Pro, one terabyte, as I've stated, of SSD. So that's that's um, SSD is a solid state drive. Basically, it's a, a faster internal hard drive with eight gigs of RAM. 
Now, I'm not sure if this is upgradable for this system, um, but something that that's something else you want to maybe watch out for. But um, yeah, four four twenty nine looks like a decent price. It's obviously used. You know, you want to lay your eyes on on it as best you can. Um, I may even do a tutorial about eBay because I know some people are leery as to purchasing off of um, eBay site website. Let's see if they have this, the other specs. Um, it doesn't necessarily, I don't see here. Okay, so eight gigs of RAM, one terabyte. I'm looking for the processing speed or the CPU. And that's something you want to, you would definitely want to uh, check out. See if, if you look, it's got, you got a few dings here and there. So it, it's definitely a used product. Um, you just use your discretion as to your preference on it. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions about this video or, or anything else um, in regards to purchasing your first MacBook or your first computer. And I wish you luck on your journey. This is Brett with Anvil Music and Media, and thanks so much for watching.